Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is my third time trying to do this. <laughs> this week we're gonna do Erica Badu. Love me some Erica Badu, love her music, love how she can make such a simple track hold so many layers and make it so complex and meaningful. Love, love, love me some Erica Badu and her future funk self. <laughs> Been dropping the ball on the artist and the musical artist feature. This week's no different. I'm gonna get back. I'm challenging myself to get better at this. If I can make a video every week, I can get you guys some features so you guys can see some of the beautiful stuff that I see. Just hear some of the beautiful shit that I hear. All the music's gonna be mine as always. And um, yeah, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, just like previous weeks, I start off with a pencil sketch in my sketchbook and then I use my projector to go ahead and get the sketch onto the canvas to save time because time is something that I do not have a lot of and uh, yeah, there's that. This week I used a different method of of getting the pencil sketch down though because I felt like the last three paintings while you can tell who these people are because like Nichelle Nichols she has her Star Trek get up on and um, but I felt like the faces haven't really looked like the people that they were trying to look like which is okay I mean I'm learning we are learning together this is this is our journey together but uh, this week I used the grid technique and I've seen all of my favorite artists do this anywhere from Kipto to Slu to Ten Hun, all of these guys have used the grid technique in one way or another. I like the way Ten Hun does. He like does a whole bunch of like just small little doodles and kind of uses that as his grid. I digress. I used it and I really liked it. I felt like Erica Badu really looks like Erica Badu and that's very exciting. I want to do more portraits. So yeah, there's that. <laughs> Alright guys, so after I got that first initial layer of skin down, uh, which we definitely go back throughout the whole painting of me touching up the skin, but that first layer looked dope, I thought it looked really sweet. And then I get into doing the head wrap. Uh, the head wrap was a little bit challenging to say the least, but I think that it came out pretty dope. I spent a little, lot more time thinking about it than you'll see in the time lapse of me doing it really quick, but I think it came out pretty sweet and I learned a few techniques in between. Alright guys, so after I finish the head wrap, I start going into the the blue background, which I thought was a little bit too dark, but I, I, I really enjoyed the color blue that was there. So, I mean, I lightened it up a little bit a little bit later on in the painting, but I, I wanted to keep that same shade of blue. I think, I think that shade of blue is really pretty. And then I get into doing her dress, which again, something that I spent a lot of time thinking about, but I got that first layer of her dress and that first layer of the background in around this part. And uh, I'm enjoying the way that it's coming out. A Little bit worried, but enjoying the way that it's coming out so far. guys so right around this part I'm doing a little bit of cleanup but I'm starting to work on getting into those second third fourth layers so I can blend those colors a little bit better like I said in the skin tones as well as in the dress as well as uh, getting the octopus's first layer down too. I gotta have an octopus uh, for holding a little BE sign and that BE stands for black excellence like all four of the people that I featured this week. Black people loved it. <laughs> Alright guys, so now we're getting into doing the eyes, like the eyes, <laughs> I got a love-hate relationship with doing eyes because I feel like when you start working on them, 
They they just look real crazy. They just you know just eyes just <laughs> without eyelashes, without the shading or uh, seeing like gray and white, and then the reflections. They just look crazy, and I get so worried until I put those last little final touches on the eyes, like with the reflections and and the lashes, and then like you know not that like Erica Badu has bags under her eyes, but you know the dark part under the eyes and above, like. I feel like those things are what really like brings the eyes out. So I get, like I said, it's a love-hate relationship. But I feel like these eyes teared out pretty good. Uh, although I felt like I might have made them a little bit too big, but I think that's just like an aesthetic thing. I think some people like big eyes and some people like them a little more realistic. And I'm trying to find my style somewhere in between that realistic look and the and what I like that graffiti s type of style of like big eyes and comic book character uh, types of styles that I'm trying to go into to build my own unique style which is probably gonna take a while but hey you guys are along for the ride and as long as you guys are along for the ride you guys keep me going to keep on exploring and to keep on learning we're learning together right So around this part is when I decided to make a nice bold outline on the outside of her. I didn't want to make too many bold outlines in the middle because like I said, I'm trying to get away from doing too many black outlines and whatnot because I want the, the contrast, the, the different features to be the, you know, to be that outline and, and to differentiate different parts of the painting and whatnot. But I felt like this black outline really helped because it separates the subject from the background a little bit better and just doing it on the outside, at least the thick black lines on the outside, I think was a pretty cool little touch and I will be exploring more of that in the future. But again, like I said in my last couple of videos, I want to get away from depending on on uh, black lines to you know to show different parts of the object and I'm trying to I swear to god I know words but <laughs> it's hard to get used to this shit <laughs> starting to get towards this is the last little home stretch this part I'm just doing a lot of cleaning up and getting things just fine touched <laughs> I don't know if you should use that like that whatever but we're cleaning stuff up and uh, getting that tag on there as well as just doing just little parts to kind of make it come out a little bit better adding the quote love the quote so much I wanted to put the whole thing but I felt like I'd lose I, I felt like there wasn't enough room to put down the whole verse but the quote is the man that knows something knows that he knows nothing at all uh, that's not Erica Badu's you know she didn't come up with the with the, the meaning or she didn't come up with the phrase she phrased it differently <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say but I thought it was so dope that she used that in a song because that is so true everybody thinks that they know something but the man that really knows something knows that you can always learn more and that nobody has all of the answers and that line just speaks to me so much that whole verse that whole song speaks to me i love the part where she, damn y'all feel that when the earthquake ah oh, my damn <laughs> love that shit <laughs> thanks for coming out guys Alright guys, it's gonna wrap up another video. Black History Month, uh, these, these four weeks have been so much fun. Uh, exploring new mediums, uh, exploring new styles, learning color blending, oils, caricatures, representing my culture, like everything about this whole month has been so much fun for me and I'm so glad that you guys came along for the ride. We got the new camera, you know, we got the <laughs> Everything is good. Like it's, it's all good. Uh, I want to send out a special thanks to the surge of commissions that I've gotten, and um, please give me more commissions if you got them. But uh, my books are like looking pretty good for the next few, you know, weeks, months to come, and I can't wait to get to all of the ideas that you guys came up with. Like I got a couple really cool ideas that are going to be sweet. We got a uh, black Native American. 
Kid, we got a Iron Man Batman joint, we got a few portraits, we got uh, we, we got stuff to do guys and I hope that you guys keep coming back and go along for this ride with me, it's, it's so much fun. Peace and all the love in the world to you guys, I love each and every one of you, like genuinely and I will catch you next week for the next video.